today's video i'm going to solve a problem from functions of complex variables and here the u real part is given as e power x into x square minus y square into cos x minus 2xy sin y so this is the real part of an analytic function so now we have to find the analytic function see here what is given so u is given as e power x times of this is x square minus y square this is cos y minus this is 2xy into sin y. Now I have to use Milne's Thompson method. So for that I need dou u by dou x. So u with respect to x. So this will be the first. Uh, this is u and this is v. So this is u and this is v. So u if I make a derivative for e power x this is e power x. And v I am leaving as it is. That is x square minus y square into cos y minus this is 2xy into sin y and the next one now i am leaving e power x and now i have to integrate this with respect to x so here 2x square so this will be 2x into this is cos y and again for x it is 1 this is 2y this is 2y into this value is sin y so this is uv rule so according to the uv rule we got like this and see here and now I am making a derivative with respect to hmm, with respect to y this time. That is dou u by dou y. So there is no y part. E power y e power x like that. So this is u. So this is the first function. This is the second function. So the first function this will be minus 2y. Cos y I am writing as it is. And now I am leaving u. That is x square minus y square. Now for cos y this is minus sin y. And see with respect to y this is 1. So this is 2x into sin y. And now I am leaving u. So this will be u and this will be v. So this is 2xy. For sin y the value here is cos y. So now we have both the values ready. And see now according to the Milne's thompson method see according to the Milne's thompson method according to the Milne's thompson method we have f of z is equal to f of z is equal to this is u plus iv if i make a derivative with respect to x this will be ux plus i into this is vx so now I am going to use CR equations. So according to the CR equations, it's Cauchy Riemann equations, we have ux is equal to vy. Do u by do x is equal to do v by do y and and ux is equal to vy and u y is equal to minus vx. Do u by do y is equal to minus do v by do x. See here according to this question f dash of z. So we have u values. I am changing this v to u so in place of uh, vx i am writing minus ui so this is already v so in place of vx i am writing minus ui so i have both the values ready here that is f dash of x is equal to i am writing once again see here f dash of x value is equal to what is ux see here so this whole thing is ux so i am copying the same thing that is e power x see here this is e power x so this value is ux is e power x into this is x square minus y square into cos y minus this is 2xy sin y plus this is e power x into this is 2x cos y minus 2y into sin y minus see here this is minus i times of and again i am I have to write ui so this is minus i times so of what is ui here so ui is nothing but this one so this value that is e power x times of this is e power x times of minus 2y cos y plus this is x square minus y square this is minus sine y this value is minus 2x sine y this is minus 2x sine y this is minus 2xy this is cos y and now according to according to this uh, Milne's thompson method i have to replace so this is replace x by z and y by zero so in the same equation if i replace then see what happens here so f dash of z value will become 
see if dash of z value is equal to it will transform as now f dash of z value is equal to in place of x i have to write z so this is z square so this is zero and this is y zero and this is again zero and see here so this is e power z into um, x that is 2z into cos 0 and y 0 so this is 0 and the next thing here in place of uh, this one again i have to place x is x is equal to z and y is equal to 0 this is minus i times of this is e power z y 0 so this is 0 and plus x x means z square this is minus 0 this is minus sine 0 and see here so this is again 0 and uh, here y0 so this is all 0 so what remains here so f dash of z is equal to this is e power z times of this is z square cos 0 is 1 so this is uh, again e power z into 2z and these all values are 0 0 into anything 0 0 into anything 0 so this is the only thing left so here f dash of z value is equal to f dash of z value is equal to e power z times of z square plus 2z so now i am going to make integration on both sides so that is integral f dash of z dz is equal to this is integral e power z that is z square plus 2z into dz and now we have a formula that see here integral e power x into this is f of x plus f dash of x value into dx value is equal to this is e power x into f of x plus c so according to this formula now i am going to write f dash of z so integration and derivative got cancelled and now f of z value will be this is f of x and this is f dash of x so now i have a formula that e power x into f of x this is z square plus c now the value i got the analytic function therefore the analytic function is according to the milnes thompson method the analytic function is nothing but f f of z is equal to this value is this value is nothing but e power z into z square plus c and this is how we have to solve and this is so simple if you follow these the simple steps here see here first of all u is given i made a derivative with respect to x as well as with respect to y so these are the two derivatives with respect to x and with respect to y according to the milnes thompson method if uh, f of z is equal to u plus i v i made a derivative throughout the equation with respect to x and i used the cr equations so i transformed this vx as minus ui and again after substituting i replaced x by z and y by zero and these are all the things left if i keep x is equal to z and y is equal to zero and this is the equation left over if i make integration on both sides and according to this formula so this is the formula and according to this formula if we have f of z and f dash of z so in this combination the answer is e power z into f of z so this will be e power z into z square plus c and this is how we got the analytic function thank you so much for watching and staying till the end if you really like please practice pass it on and subscribe to this channel